Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And this afternoon I want to talk to our Mac users about downloading and installing the software and the drivers. The Mac acts differently than the Windows machines do. And especially if you're crossing over from the Windows platform to Mac, there are going to be a few things you need to be very aware of. First of all, after you do the download and you open the package, you'll notice three files. A README text with some information to help get you started. The program and the drivers. The drivers must be installed separately on the Mac. It won't let us incorporate them into the programmer installation like it does on Windows. No big deal, just another mouse click. And we're going to start with the drivers. So I'm going to double click and I get this error message. The drivers can't be opened because it was not downloaded from the App Store. This has to do with the security and privacy settings on this machine. So I'm going to click this little question mark right here. Tells me about why the error happened, but the most important thing is right here, we're going to open the general pane. And that opens security and privacy for me. And it tells me right here that it's being blocked and this Open Anyway works on some systems and doesn't work on others. Although it will appear to work, you won't know it didn't until it reports that it can't find the cable when you're trying to use it. Yes, it's a little frustrating. So the full fix, we're going to click to Unlocked. We're going to enter our administrative password. And we're going to change it to the App Store and Identified Developers. We're going to relock this. We're going to tell this OK. And we're going to tell it to run again. And now it's up and running. We're going to continue. We're going to install. Give it the administrative password. and it's done. We're going to keep the installer because if we throw it out it'll throw the whole package out and I'm not finished with it yet. We're going to plug the cable in while we're doing the rest of what we're doing. And is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And we're going to tell it to open. And we're going to go next and accept and next and serial number. The email exactly as you did it on your order. And let it install to the defaults or change it as you like. And finish. And now it's in Launchpad, ID 51 plus 2. And there's what the program looks like when it first opens. Go Communications, 
get data from radio with the radio off insert the cable into the data jack turn the radio on and click OK and we're up and running So this is what you need to get you started, get you installed. We'll do others on the programmers and all that it can do. That'll be for another time. This is Karen, K0RTX. We'll catch you later.